I've come today to be part of our contingent to join with the, uh, the national level demonstration in London for 76 uh, commemoration of, of, of the Nakba. Uh, and also as part of the ongoing demonstrations uh, again demanding a ceasefire uh, and a restoration of full aid and then to the embargo on Gaza. So I think it's important that we, as supporters of the Palestinian cause, uh, have a huge presence uh, for demonstrations like this. Two reasons. One is to put as much pressure as possible on the government and decision makers. And the other reason is to show a sol very visual form of solidarity to the Palestinians so they can see that they're not alone in their, in their struggle and that we support them in their, their valiant resistance to settler colonialism. My general consensus of what's been going on is like there's a whole wave of people now who are you know, on the side of the Palestinians and yeah, I've been, I've been about four or five London marches and they just keep getting bigger and better so yeah, I'm not surprised to see so many people, it's brilliant. The message is coming out loud and clear and every week when we come out we have more people joining the cause and joining our campaign and joining the solidarity movement for the people of Palestine. And people are actually outraged, absolutely outraged by what's happening. Uh, outraged by what Israel is doing and outraged by our government's response, uh, not just its, its, its uh, collusion but its active complicity, providing political and dip diplomatic cover to Israel, uh, continuing to provide export licenses and all other forms of support to Israel. So there's an absolute outrage, sense of outrage against that which I've, not, I've never seen before. Rishi Sunak, he's got blood on his hands. Keir Starmer, blood on his hands. All these big politicians, they are continuing this war because they're profiting off it. We understand that capitalism is a plague against the system, it's a plague against humanity. And the only way we can change that is going forward with a communist perspective for the world. You know, the, the, there's, there's a massive importance to, to, to these marches. Putting pressure on, on, on those who are complicit, uh, putting pressure on, on, on the Tories who are going to have their worst ever election year, that's largely because of, of, um, of, 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 of Palestine, but it's, you know, obviously because of so much more. Also putting pressure on, on people like Keir Starmer who are just as complicit. Um, you know, it, 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 it's going to be an interesting election year to say the least, um, because we're dealing with two parties um, that are, 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 are just as, as, as evil as each other and, 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 and are both moving further to the right. Um, but this movement shows that they don't represent us. Um, that the people want something better, an actual option. I think what the young people are doing is just is just amazing and I think that says a lot. I think especially since the students have started their encampments as well. Um, and I know that's more more recently. Um, but yeah, the voices are being heard. There was a huge turnout of younger people um, today. Um, I felt maybe with the, the earlier marches there was perhaps more, more older people, but certainly here today there's many more um, younger people and I just think it's fantastic. Just soon that you are a disgrace to myself and the rest of the British public who do not want to be complicit in this genocide and arming Israel and funding the murder of innocent children. You are a disgrace to yourself and the British population and the government. Richie Sunak, listen to the people, listen to what the majority of people in this country are saying that the, what Israel is doing is indefensible, uh, it's evil, it's a genocide, it's in their power, the power of the British government to help bring an end to this uh, by a number of things. One is just immediate end to the armed, uh, immediate end to issuing uh, arms licenses to Israel, uh, demanding and supporting uh, a call for an immediate and permanent ceasefire uh, and for immediate restoration of full aid and, and to the embargo.